Growing up, I was never much of a reader. I actually really struggled to learn how to read, and I didn't learn until I was nine years old. In elementary school, I was sent to special ed, and I would panic and cry every time the teacher asked us to read out loud because I just could not understand how letters turned into words. Finally, after a lot of struggle and tears and screaming, I learned to read, but I didn't see myself represented in literature. There weren't stories that featured people who looked like me and faced similar issues. Asian Canadians were protagonists in stories, which sent the message that we weren't important or complex enough to have our own. The first time that I saw myself represented in literature was in grade 10 creative writing class, where we read Evelyn Lau's memoir, Runaway, which chronicles a young Asian Canadian teenager who endures a turbulent home life a difficult time on the streets, and finally her triumphant victory as she succeeds as her own person and as an award-winning author. And I thought, as I read it, here is a young Chinese woman whose childhood is as messed up and as ugly as mine, but she is so smart and talented and badass that she made it out of there alive, and she's an author and maybe one day I can be too. It took me many, many years to publish my first book, but in 2019, I was asked to sit on a panel with Evelyn Lau, and it was one of the most amazing moments of my life. Representation matters. Diverse books inspire us to hope, and without hope, we have nothing. Music